Moin and welcome. Hello and welcome. This podcast is for motivated people who want to improve their Luxembourgish vocabulary, listening skills and fluency by listening to compelling content. I'm Anne, your dedicated host and the driving force behind Luxembourgish with Anne, with a true passion for teaching my mother tongue since 2012. In this dynamic podcast, I'll share with you interesting short vocabulary lessons and topic conversations from level A1 to B1, and together we will build a strong foundation of the language you need to speak with confidence about everyday life topics. I also share exclusive learning strategies and insights for the Spruch and Test oral exam. So join me on this exciting Luxembourgish learning journey. Bas du Prat, are you ready? Moin and welcome to the episode number 42. And this episode is all about why is speaking Luxembourgish so hard to understand? So do you have difficulties understanding native Luxembourgish speakers? I'm asking you this question because many of my students are struggling with understanding natural spoken Luxembourgish. And as a Luxembourgish language learner, you learn to listen to slow Luxembourgish audios, which are helpful at the beginning. But as soon as you have reached a more advanced level, this is not enough. So I wanted to dive into the topic to help you understand why listening to Luxembourgish might not always be as easy. Listening is indeed one of the biggest problems for Luxembourgish learners, so you. And it is possible for you to read well, right, to have good grammar and vocabulary skills and be able to speak. But when you listen to spoken Luxembourgish, you don't understand everything. And then you feel frustrated. Am I right? So why is listening so difficult? So there are three main reasons, and I will uh, talk about these three main reasons on the bus to Prat for this episode. Are you ready? Down, lass. So, the first reason is the written form of Luxembourgish words is often different from their pronunciation. So, there are some silent letters in Luxembourgish. Let's take, for example, the word Abest. Abest meaning a job or work. And this is um, spelled um, A A R B E C H T. So A A R B E C H T. But we don't pronounce the R before the B. So you will hear not Abest, but it's Abest. Abest. Or for example, a Kuh. A kur is a course or can as well be a lesson, okay? For example, a letzte boje show kur. Kur is spelled C-O-U-R-S. But we don't pronounce the, the, the final S. And uh, yes, we pronounce it kur. Kur, okay? So a lesson or an, uh, a course is a kur. Or another example, for example, a client. A client is a client. Client. So you write it C L I E N T. The final T is not pronounced. No, a client. And the plural is client. Okay. So we add the E N for the plural, but still we don't pronounce the T. So you will hear client and not clienten. Okay, so this is one part, one um, reason why Luxembourgish is quite difficult to understand. And then many letter combinations can have completely different pronunciation, as in the words um, "letze boyish." Letze boyish is the Luxembourgish language, letze boyish, but you don't write it like this. It is spelled t totally different. To practice, just listen to me and uh, repeat after me. 
Letze Boyosch. Letze Boyosch. Ösch schwatzen. Letze Boyosch. Or for example, to say possible in Luxembourgish, you write it meiglösch, meiglösch, but we pronounce it meiglösch, meiglösch. So to say this is possible, you would say dadas meiglösch, meiglösch. Yeah? Or for example, um, uh, the light or a lamp, this is ein Lucht. Ein Lucht. So I often hear um, students say ein Lucht. Hmm? No, it's not ein Lucht, it's ein Lucht. Ein Lucht. Okay, so a lamp or light. And then another reason is we have our tricky N rule. Now, if you haven't heard anything about the N rule, I recommend that you head over to my blog and um, you search for the N rule. And uh, I have a whole lesson uh, which will explain you what the N rule is all about. So this means that um, in your study book, you will study with your eyes by reading the words, words like, for example, Sinn, to be, or Hun, to have, or Wann, which means when or if. And these are all words ending in N, but um, often in spoken, but also in written language, we will drop those final N because of this famous N rule. And then you will not hear Sinn, but you will hear Sie. For example, to say, I am sick, you will say, ich sie krank, ich sie krank, ich sie krank. Or, uh, I have no time, is not, ich hun kein Zeit, but it's, ich hu kein Zeit, ich hu kein Zeit. So you will hear hu instead of hun. And also the wann, meaning when or if, to say, for example, wann mir Zeit hun. Wann mir Zeit tun. So when we have time or if we have time, normally it would be wann, or you will read in your study book, wann mir Zeit tun. But uh, in spoken Luxembourgish, you will hear wann mir Zeit tun, wa, and not wann, wann mir Zeit tun. Okay? Now, a second reason why listening to or understanding Luxembourgish is not easy. Native speakers talk fast, like in any language, and connect words together. Now, in some audio samples for Luxembourgish listening practice um, for A1 or A2, they pronounce ish each word slowly. But in real life, we don't do that. Instead, we connect words so that two or more words can sound like one word. Let's have uh, two or three examples. For example, if you want to say, um, what are we going to do tomorrow morning? So you will read in your study book, what machen wir mir de moyen? But in natural spoken Luxembourgish, you would hear, what mama mur de moyen? What mama mur de moyen? Okay, so the mir becomes ma. And mach, it's einfach ma, but mama mur de moyen. Okay. Another example, if you want to say to someone, let's go tomorrow, or the, let's go on Friday uh, to Luxembourg City, you will learn in your study book, gib mir a Freitag an Start. Not, gib mir a Freitag an Start. And in spoken Luxembourgish, it will sound like this. Gimma a Freitag an Start. Gimma. Gimma and not gimmir. Gimma a Freitag an Start. Or for example, to say Tom uh, is sick, you will read den Tom as krank. But when we speak, we will again connect here the words, then you will hear den Thomas krank. So you will not hear Tom as krank, but Thomas, den Thomas krank. You see how we connect the words. So you think that you hear one word, but there are two words, Thomas or gim mir, it's gimma, it's one word. Oder wat mache mir, wat mama. Okay, so you think you hear only one word. 
So this means that listening to slow Luxembourgish audios is helpful, but it's not enough. To be fluent in Luxembourgish, you must get used to hearing natural spoken Luxembourgish. And now I come to the last reason why listening to Luxembourgish and understanding Lux spoken Luxembourgish is difficult. Uh, this is obviously the lack of opportunities to practice in Luxembourg. Especially in Luxembourg City, you do not have the opportunity to hear and speak all day and every day Luxembourgish. This is one of the major problems for learners like you, right? But how can you practice on a daily basis? It is hard to practice your listening that helps you improve your Luxembourgish. Some people say you should simply listen more. Hmm. There are two major problems with just listening more. The first problem is, if you only partially understand what you are hearing, it is easy to get frustrated and stop trying, and then you won't make progress. Okay? I have many students who are listening to the radio, but they don't understand half of what they are saying, and this can lead to frustration. And the second problem is just listening. Well, it's okay. It is better than nothing. But if you are not doing exercises while you listen, then you won't get the full benefit of improving your comprehension um, and also your vocabulary. So to solve that problem, I advise my students to listen and read simultaneously. Okay, so you listen and then you read simultaneously the transcript of what you are listening. So start today, take just 10 minutes a day Huh? During your lunch break, for example, or in the evening, sit down with your tablet, your computer, your laptop, and choose an article, a radio item of maybe, for example, on RTL, on Elder Radio. They have very um, interesting, short, very short uh, articles on Elder Radio with the transcript and with the a um, audio and just listen to them and then read the transcript. You will see how fast you will improve. First, your understanding, but also your vocabulary. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, these were, were the three reasons I wanted to share with you why understanding Luxembourgish is difficult. So, first, we don't pronounce um, Luxembourgish as they are written. Secondly, um, there are some letter combinations uh, which will sound completely different when we uh, say them. We have this tricky N rule and then as well we connect words together and then often you don't hear three separate words but just one word and this can be very confusing and then you have not enough opportunities to listen to native speakers especially if you are living in Luxembourg City. Now, do you want me to help you with your listening comprehension? Well, I can help you if you master the level A2 and you would like to improve now your listening comprehension. Um, I have created a course, a self-study online course, Short Dialogue. This course will allow you to listen first to a small dictation. Then you will listen to an audio about two or three minutes and you will need to answer questions so just to test your understanding. And afterwards, I will ask you to read the full transcript of the conversation and the useful groups of words and vocabulary. And your homework will be to practice this new vocabulary and to prepare a conversation or a text about the topic of the conversation and to talk about it with me in a one-on-one -on -one lesson, okay? So you can study with this uh, online course at your own pace with the self-study materials and then we can schedule a one-on-one -on -one session once a week or twice a month, just um, as you prefer. Now, I will uh, put the link below so that you can reach out uh, by email so that I can share more information about this uh, short dialogues self-study online course combined with one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. So, <laughs> merci fürs Nolausteren. Ich hoffe, das Episode war hilfreich an, ähm, ja, an mir äh, hören von Ihnen an der nächsten Episode. Adi!